What's up, team? Oh, man, somebody just jumped right in front of me. That was close, team. That was close. Whenever we ride down this street right here, this long street right here, people do that. People do that. I was out yesterday, and two cars, they just jumped right in front of me. Look, nobody want to get in an accident, but everybody in a hurry. Everybody in a hurry to get where they're going. But what if we just leave early and we could drive the speed limit? Like, if I'm going somewhere that way, I don't want to be late. I don't want to be exactly on time. I want to be there early. If I got a doctor's appointment at 1030, I want to be there at least 1015. You know? If I work in a nine to five job and the job started at nine o'clock, I want to be, I would want to be there at least by 8.40. I know some people who just, I worked a job where we working, I was working um, eight at night to eight in the morning. And there was this girl on the job. Now I lived, I lived about 15 minutes from the job. There was this girl on the job that lived about an hour from the job. And every day for work, she would get there right on time. Be running to the clock, the clock in at 8 o'clock. She wouldn't be late, but she'd just be right on time. And because she, her thing was, I don't want to come to work and sit down. But it's not about coming to work and sit down. Anything could happen. An accident could happen. A deer might jump in front of you. This is the South. Anything could happen. You might get behind some people and some people working on the road and you gotta wait. Anything can happen. And then next thing you know, you late. And then you do that a couple of times and you ain't got no job. So I believe in leaving early to get to your destination. Cause you don't know how many cars are gonna be behind. You don't know what might happen in the road. You don't know. But I used to get to work early, sit down, eat breakfast, by eight o'clock, go work. She wanted to come in and get right to work. But anyway, team, that's neither here nor there. I'm going to Wally World alone. I left the family at the house. What's up, team? So anyway. My wife want me to arch her eyebrows. Absolutely not. I already did the makeup, and you know, and y'all know that was bomb. Some of y'all have wanted me to do y'all makeup too. Now let me start. I'm not. Forgive me. Well. But some of y'all agree that the makeup I did looked alright on her. You know, y'all thought I would do worse, but I actually did better than some of y'all thought. Well. I'm not arch arching her eyebrows. It was his idea. I'm in the bathroom I was trying to do something to myself. I didn't put no makeup on yet, you guys. And he's like, Baby, yeah, I put my eyebrows is doing like this every which way. So baby, I hate that. Let me just, you know, arch your eyebrows. I do it. Baby, arch my eyebrows, baby. I think the team wants to see that. And if you mess up, I can the team, always draw. The team gotta tell me that. The team gotta tell me that. Okay, I'm not, I might not feel like it another day. I feel like it today. The team got to tell me that. If they want to send me an archer, no, 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 I don't care what they say. I'm not archer no eyebrows. I'm not even doing no makeup no more. Yeah, I know. So no then, then you're going to want me to move to do your hair. Then you're going to want me to do other stuff. No. I want you to wash my hair now. No. He has not washed my hair yet, guys, since we've been together. No. I want him to wash my hair. You wash my hair? I want to, but you won't let me. I wash my own hair. I just washed it. Well, that's why you have a wife, too. Nope. Well, when you wash the kids here, you call everybody. You don't call me. Because you don't want me to wash your hair. You're so independent. I want, independent. I want my hair washed. Okay. Well, well I wanted it washed. You, anyway. Yeah, this is the first time I heard about that, team. Anyway, team. Yeah, so, October 20th. Y'all know it's the conference. Matter of fact, let's go to the commercial right now. Get ready for Empowering the New Me Conference, Saturday, October 20th, 2018, hosted by Prophetess Kimberly Moses. If you need healing, register. If you need deliverance from various issues, sign up. If you need a refreshing and feel burnt out, 
Register. If you want your gift sharpened or need a refresher course on the prophetic ministry, register. If you want to witness the miraculous hand of God, register. If you want to have some fun fellowship, sign up. If you want to feel the presence of God on another level, sign up. And meet us at the Hilton Garden Inn at 2671 Hospitality Boulevard in Florence, South Carolina. And don't forget, bring the sick. 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 All right. So we expect to see y'all there. Yeah. Hey, anything you want to say? And no, I'm not arching your eyebrows. I'm not washing your hair. I'm not doing no more makeup. I'm not doing my toenails. I'm not doing your toenails. You promise me. I don't play with your feet. He kisses my feet. <laughs> Can y'all believe that? Yes. Anyway. Trying love is some kidney. <laughs> See my feeling. He loves me, guys. If I say do my feet, he'll do my feet. Yeah. On camera, he's. Yeah. On camera, what? He's real like he is in person. But in he's off the real camera, like he is on and off camera. He's like putty in my hand. <laughs> y'all believe that y'all believe anything if y'all believe that I got a bridge in Brooklyn I want to sell y'all he's like putty in my head I want to sell y'all just send the money to my cash app send 5,000 to my cash app I put that on the screen and the bridge in Brooklyn is yours the bridge that go from Brooklyn to Manhattan is yours won't you give me that 5,000 <laughs> mm -hmm. anyways I feel like singing all right, team. We'll catch up with y'all later. Look, team, y'all probably remember me saying in a, in a form of vlog that, um, and we just talking. This is not to put nobody down or nothing, but y'all probably remember me saying in a form of vlog that I sent some beats to Lecrae. And um, let me tell you this, which is weird, a weird thing, though, because I'm not even into gospel rap. I'm really not. I don't listen, I don't listen to rap music at all, really. I just listen, we just listen to worship, you know? I don't listen to secular music. And I've never really been in the gospel rap, but then I heard a Lecrae song I liked, and I, I felt like he was a positive brother, so I figured, hey, I'm making beats. I'm, look, let me tell you something, I'm fine with making beats for the vlog. It's, it's all right with me. So I sent, um, I sent them some beats, and I never heard back from them. But I found out that, anyway, it was too late. I, I was trying to send him some beats in time for his next album. But I found out it's too late because now he got an album. He got an album that's out. But even if they was to choose them beats came out, I probably wouldn't sell it. I, I, no, no, I'll take that back. I wouldn't sell it to him. Because I'm being honest with you, I don't, I don't like what he's doing. I feel like the world has really influenced him. And I'm not saying every gospel rapper. I don't. Like I told you, I don't even listen to gospel rap. I don't know gospel rappers. I heard of a group when I first got saved called Gospel Gangsters. And I disagreed with that. There's no gangsters in the gospel. But I pray the brother get back on track. Because the stuff, the stuff I heard and the video I saw, it just... And, so, and Lecrae might be one of y'all favorite artists. Don't stone me. I'm just telling you my observation. Like, Because hmm. we're not chasing money. We have passed up opportunities. And we'll continue to pass up stuff that ain't right. Because it's more important to be right with God than to be right with man. You know? You my beautiful wife. So anyway, if I was gonna sell a beat to a gospel rapper, then he would have to actually be talking about something. Which is the Lord. And I ain't, I ain't saying that every lyric, every every line has to be Jesus, but it all should point to Jesus. And I'm just saying, man, I don't know if Lecrae, y'all favorite artist or whatever, but I don't hear that in the songs. 
I don't hear that in the songs. And I never was a fan. I just, I heard a song I liked and I felt like, and I saw an interview and I felt like he was a positive brother. That's about it. Yeah. Oh, pardon me, I see somebody sleeping over here. Oh, God is good. Yeah, so we ain't chasing no dollar. Keep your dollar. Keep your dollar. I've turned down plenty of photo shoots. I've turned down. I'm going to be transparent with y'all. I did a photo shoot years ago that I should not have done. Years ago that I should not have done. This girl, she had a real short skirt on. Very short. And team, at the time, I was living in my car. I was hungry. I was already saved, but I was hungry. So, I did the photo shoot. I was, I was homeless in my car, but I, had, I still had equipment. I had equipment, because I had equipment for years. So I did the photo shoot. Yeah, but now, I've turned down Photoshop. I've turned down lingerie. I've turned down a bunch of stuff. Like, if you get my email, you'll see in my email, there's a dress code. There's a dress code, even for the brothers. Because ain't nobody gonna have their pants sagging. And I'm gonna take a photo of you. I, I had a photo shoot one time, me and my assistant, and this girl got out the car. And when she got out the car, we saw her outfit. I said, go, go tell her now. She wouldn't have told her no. The girl was mad because the girl done paid all her money. The girl's mad. So now I, th I think it's good now that I got it in the email. So if you want to get a shoot, you get a shoot. You don't, you don't. Everything going to be all right. And she over there talking about fasting. Let me tell you, team. If you don't have a fast in life, you need a... Uh-oh, something crawling right there. I don't want it on me. It's green, too. Team, you need a fasting life. I'm telling you, fasting breaks strongholds. It delivers you from stuff. And fasting is, some people say they fast for Facebook, they fast for social media. That's not a fast. That's part of a consecration, but that's not a fast. Fasting in itself is fasting from food. Fasting is a denying of the flesh, denying myself of everything I love. If I like watching Lifetime movies, if I like watching this and that on TV, then when I go on a fast, I deny myself of that because my flesh like that, not my spirit. If I'm going to watch anything on TV while I'm on a fast, I need to watch something encouraging. I need to watch some preaching. That's what you need. I'm, I'm sleeping. Oh, now my wife talking about Beyonce and Jay-Z. Cut that off. Cut that off. Look, cut Beyonce off. Do you know that music is worship? Do you know that music is worship? Music was created, watch this, music was created to worship and praise God. All music is worship and praise. And let me tell you something, every artist is evangelizing. The Christian artist is evangelizing. The gospel artist is evangelizing. Your rap art, your favorite rapper is evangelizing. Beyonce is evangelizing. Now notice that Beyonce don't have to say, the devil, she don't have to say Satan, she don't have to say demons to evangelize. As long as y'all quoting the lyrics, there's a spirit attached to that. But anyway, let me leave that alone. I'm tired. I'm sleepy, tell you. It's a spirit attached to that. I'm over here walking. Okay, she's saying bye now. I'm ready to go. Got gnats all on me. The same way God intended for me. I got to go. These nats tear me up. Come on, let's go. Alright. I'm ready. I'm out of here. Mama! To the Nat family later.
my mind. Raya, where is Raya? Where is Raya? Is that a pad? I bet you know. I bet you know one song, one gospel song. She know one gospel song, team. That's all she know. Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, please. No, please, please stop saying it. Really? Don't do it without me. Somebody gonna be in the conference comments told my prophet is you were singing that song, prophet. <laughs> you were singing that prophet. Can you please sing that at the conference? Watch. Right. Whatever God say. My bae got me on that song. Alright, Tim, we catch back up with y'all. Kimberly. Kimberly. Okay, y'all. Yeah. Ain't she fine? Ain't my wife fine? Is she fine? Is she fine? She want a watermelon, you guys. So I want to buy Mariah a big watermelon. The watermelon. The watermelon. It's $2.69. She don't want us to eat. Well, I'll eat a little piece. Girl, put the phone down. You can pick it up. You eat that, mama? You eat watermelon? Oh, my gosh. That's all she likes. A neighborhood yesterday and I was just looking at around at houses and stuff and in this neighborhood every cat we saw team no exaggeration every cat we saw was a black cat every cat we saw was a black cat I don't know what that's about but anyway we really just starting our day Probably go to Walmart, walk around. Yeah, so anyway, I'm about to end this vlog. This vlog wasn't really about nothing. There's gonna be some days where you mostly see her. There's gonna be some days where you mostly see me. There's gonna be days where you see us. Anyway, team, catch you on the next one. Deuces.